Now on this video, we're going to take a look at field turkeys, all different size fields, and show you how I attack each situation. So I'm going to start with a little field, and a little small field like this, and it's a, let's just say it's like a quarter of an acre. You can sit anywhere in it with a shotgun, shoot all the way across it, you can sit anywhere in it with a bow, and a um, probably lure one over to your decoys or whatever, you know, pretty easy. Probably get a shot even without decoys in a, in a small field like this. It's only, say, uh, 50 yards long, 30 yards wide. Well, one thing about a small field that presents a little bit of difficulty is once the turkeys are in it and uh, it's so small, it's very difficult to approach this field after the turkeys are in it because it is so small. Basically, in this situation with a smaller field, it's really just a woods turkey. and you got a small field there, and uh, you can use that as, to your advantage. Um, say it's a rainy day, turkeys like to come to field. This may be the only field around, and uh, on a rainy day, you'll just probably want to come there, sit at the edge of the field, make a few calls, and just wait them out. And uh, So the smaller the field, it presents less of a problem in one sense because you can sit on it and if any turkey comes out there in it, you're going to be able to kill him. On the other hand, if the turkey's already out there and say it's flat around there, you're not going to be able to get to the field without spooking the turkeys. I'm going to up the size of the field here. And we're going to make this field, uh, we're going to make it about a 10 acre field. Let's just say it's, uh, it's around a, a 10 acre field now. Now you got a field big enough that you can maneuver around in. You can say the turkey's on one end. Say uh, It's just like one of our fields that we've got and uh, the road comes into the field this way and it's a nice little viewing spot right here and I just ease up at any time of the day and uh, I don't have to sit and wait on a turkey in this field. I can just come in, peek, spot the turkey and then use other tactics and uh and i'm able to set up here 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 i can come around set up over here i can come around and uh set up over here they may be in here early and then they go over here and shade up and and uh so i can i can think at one step ahead of them and get over in that area where they like to strut in the middle of the day and set up so i don't have to sit here and wait uh, a 10 acre field you're not going to be able to obviously shoot all the way across it you're just going to have to pick you know if you're going to set up and, and you know set up to, to stay in this field it's small enough that if you got a decoy set anything that walks out you know given the terrain is not rolling it's pretty much going to see your decoy set and, and maybe walk over there and maybe not throw a little calling out there so this is definitely a small enough field that you can set up in and, and wait them out, but it's also a big enough field that you can just do the tactic that I call spot stalk set up and call, where you just ease up, you know, later on in the day and see if a turkey's there. Uh, sometimes, you know, they're only turkeys are only coming to these fields once every ten days. So, in that situation, you don't want to be just sitting there. Uh, all day every day for 10 days waiting on a turkey to show up. That's just not a realistic strategy But it is realistic to you know ride up there and look and see if a turkey's in the field Maybe walk out there and check for tracks and uh, kind of figure out how often they're coming some some people will put up a camera <clears throat> I'm not big on cameras But uh, that's another strategy you can, you can use on that uh, What I'm gonna do you know, if I do ease up there and see a turkey out there, to be able to lure him across, you know, a 10 acre field, which is a pretty good size, uh, a lot of times I'll use my little decoy thing and I'll, uh, I'll uh, you know, set up, crawl to the edge of the field, maybe crawl out in it just a little bit and have the fan shielding me, make a call and get his attention, look up, and he'll look up, and then I'll do the fan and uh, I'll already have some decoy, other decoys set up. And when he starts coming, I can retreat. And I've, uh, I've killed a couple of them that way. Um, let's say the fields, we're going to make it even bigger. Now, this is what, when you're talking about people like Cuz Strickland, that have always said, 
they have a real difficult time with fields. I think the fields he's talking about are these larger fields, you know, 80 acre, 40 acre, 80 acre fields where the turkey can be, you know, a quarter of a mile from your, or, you know, just completely out of decoying range and completely out of uh, calling range. He's out there with eight or ten hens and you're not you're not going to be able to budge this turkey and I think that's that's the type turkey cuz was talking about but uh, I've got strategies for that guy too there's a couple of them uh, you know obviously if he's anywhere near the edge then you know you can still use that fanning trick on him even though it's a big field he may be a hundred hundred fifty yards out uh, then you could still use that trick on him but if he's out here a quarter of a mile the best thing to do in that situation if you can hunt, legally hunt the field too is uh try to try to separate him from his hands and try to push him push him out of the field and uh you can get in a vehicle and just drive up a tractor works really good for this because they're not very you know they don't spook from tractors and stuff like that very bad but you could just ease along the vehicle and try to you know if you have an opportunity <clears throat> say he's here and his hands are over here and you can separate him push him out over here and push his hands out on the other side oh that's that's awesome you're going to kill him if, if you do that but most of the time they're all going to go out together try to try to push him out a corner if you can push him out a corner and get him back up in these woods right here and um and, and then you can you set back up on the field and wait him out that's the thing about a field turkey he loves the field you, he's telling you how to kill him he loves that field so if you can push him out of the field it's just a matter of time where it, for, before he's going to come back uh so you see him out there at 10 in the morning or you know right after daylight they're just sailing out of the trees and landing in the field and you know he's gone for the day then like I said, if you can legally hunt the field, you you know, it's your field or whatever, just push them out, get them back up here in the woods. They'll probably start gobbling uh, and uh, set up in the corner. If you push them out of corner, out of corner, set up in the same corner, you know, it's just a geometric design of the corner is going to give you more shooting. You can set, you know, say you're a shotgun hunter, you can set 40 yards up this edge and you'll be able to shoot to you know at least 40 down this edge and then another 40 this way and you cover a huge area of this field where he's likely to walk back in or you might want to set up over here if you think he's going to come in anywhere over here set 40 yards here or 50 and then uh more than likely he's going to come out and come this way you might set 60 yards and you're covering a huge area plus if he comes in right here you still might can shoot him and uh with a bow you're gonna you know if you think he's gonna come in somewhere around the corner which uh a lot of times they do you'll just want to set up maybe 30 yards over here and you'll be able to shoot anywhere in there and you know you're gonna set up your decoy so if he walks out within 30 yards of a strutting decoy uh, your odds are pretty good he might walk over there and you get a shot now another tactic you can use on these field birds and like like i just mentioned so you got one that's roosting up pretty close on the edge and you know, he leaves the field one day roost here one day roost here and one day roost here and he sails all the way out in the field 100 yards and lands out there and uh, he's pretty much gone for the day he's going out in a you know 80 acre field he's a quarter of a mile from you <clears throat> and uh you and this works even if you don't have permission say you got permission to hunt the woods but the field is a, 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 a field that somebody else owns. Well, you already know he's going to sail out and go out in that field. So the evening when he goes to roost, just work your way around and bump him. Bump him completely away from the field a long way so that he can't sail down back up in the field. He's got to land in the woods and walk to the field. Uh, you might could even do that early in the morning when he first starts gobbling work your way around and uh, and bump him and push him further away from the field. That does, it's going to do two things. Number one, it's going to separate him from his hands. And number two, uh, it's going to push him further away from the field. So you got a chance. He's got eight or 10, 15 hands with him 
um, you're not going to have a good chance killing that bird unless you push him back off that field and push him away from his hands at the same time. And then that you've turned that tough field bird into a, you know a 15 minute kill in that situation. Uh, one more way I can think of, and this kind of happened by accident. I was in a field that was probably about a 20 acre field and uh, I had this time out there and this was another one of them times that would sail out into the field and gobble his hens and walk out. He would fly out into the field his hens would walk out in there and he was basically just about unkillable. And uh, I found one day that Phil, Phil had kind of a little, uh, a little terrain to it. This is a little ridge and uh, I was hunting one day and I was right down here and I could see him strutting with his hands and his hands came over the top of this hill and he lagged back. Well, I went around here and now when I got the terrain on him, I couldn't see him, but I could see them. So I just walked up to the edge of the field and uh, flagged him. And his hands booked off into the woods. And uh, it was kind of a windy day. So he didn't hear him. If he did, put I didn't hear him and he didn't hear him either. So I made my way back right here because I could see him. And as soon as he topped this hill, he, he like went out of the strut and stood real tall like, where did they go? And I made one call and he thought they'd came down here and he turned and came right to me. So I just took advantage of the situation. It uh, was a little during the hunt maneuver where I separated a tom from his hands in, in a field and he turned from being an unkillable bird to being a real easy kill. And for years I hunted field turkeys without decoys because Alabama didn't allow decoys. And uh, say you got a Tom and he's over next to this edge over here. And uh, you come in over here and you see, you see him out across the field. Well, don't just set up without thinking. A good turkey hunter's got to think first. You know, or you should know, a turkey has the tendency to work the edges or they they're easier to call down an edge than they are across the middle if you try to call a turkey uh, well here's my turkey right here if you try to call a turkey f from all the way across this field and you're set up right here he's going to come a certain distance and he's going to hang up about 100 yards that's just what's going to happen but if he's hugging this edge and you come around and you get right in here well, he has more difficulty seeing. He can see the woods, but you're just off, and he can tell you're off in the woods, and he'll have more of a tendency to hug that edge and walk right down there to you. And I've killed a lot of them that way without decoys, back when decoys wouldn't legal. So you never want to try to call a turkey across the middle of a field. You always want to call him down the edge. And, you know, if he's, if he's hugging the edge, and you get on that same edge, use your you know woodsmanship skills and get on that same edge and uh, your success will go up. But one thing about turkey hunting is you have to be persistent. You have to have a, you know, a, a, a can-do attitude. You can't just give up real quick. I see too many people hunting turkeys on uh, YouTube and you can tell they just give up on their tactic too quick. And as a result, they don't master that tactic. They don't master the field turkey tactics. They don't master calling turkeys. People just, I see a lot of people that's really quick to crawl on a turkey. And um, they'll never be good callers, never, because they, you know, they're losing that opportunity to learn something about calling turkeys by crawling them. That's just one more, uh, one more turkey that they've eliminated the chance of that turkey to teach them how to call more turkeys. And uh, so one thing you want to do, you just want to stay persistent. If you want to call turkeys, just always call, never crawl. If you want to hunt field turkeys, you know, think. Use strategies like bumping the turkey out of the field. But that's a few of the tactics I use uh, on field turkeys. and. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it and uh, hope you kill more turkeys because of it. Uh, that's why I'm doing this. It's, a, it's a, you know, a good way to share the knowledge that I've picked up over the years of being stubborn and uh, 
and just not giving up. Plus, you know, the bow. That's one thing that's helped me be a better turkey hunter, pure turkey hunter, is the fact that I just bow hunt them. I can't resort to cheap and easy tactics. I mean, you can't shoot them out the window of a truck. You can't do anything, um, basically, that's, that makes it easier. You have to pretty much lure the turkey to you and use strategies that, uh, that help you.